Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jazzy. So today I am going to be getting into some of my fall videos. I'm so excited. <laughs> but first I have to clean up my house. So I will leave, I think I'm going to put them in chapters and I will leave like where you guys can skip to down below if you guys just are here for the fall unboxing. I don't know if I'm, I don't think I'm going to get around to actually putting my fall stuff up today, but we shall see. That will be in my next video if I don't get around to it today. But I will for sure be unboxing my fall goods in this video. So first I'm going to clean my apartment so that I can get it prepared to put up my fall stuff. We do have a couple of signs up already that Dominic and I were able to put up while he was off after we got back from vacation. But other than that, I have not looked at my fall stuff at all. So I'm just super excited to pull it out. And like, you know how when you pull the box out, like you don't remember most of the stuff that you have. So I'm just excited to like go through it and remember everything that I have because I honestly probably have way more than I think that I have. Like I bought a couple of more things within the past couple of weeks here for fall, but I'm like, mm, I probably didn't need to, but I did. <laughs> so let's just hop into this cleaning video and we shall see where it takes us. <laughs> Your friends want you every time I call. I know, you know, I've done nothing wrong. You can't help but Try to wrap me off and you won't let me have it all But I want to show you I want you Cause I can feel you hesitate And I want to show you I want you And I can feel that you're afraid You, you've been trying to guess what I'm trying I got a reputation, but you made me want to change it yeah, you, you make me want to prove it You make me want to prove it Make me want to prove it You keep me guessing, you keep me on my toes But where you're going, I might never know Usually I can see the finish line with you It hasn't crossed my mind Yeah, I know that you You've been trying to guess what I'm trying to do You question my intentions I got a reputation but You made me want to change it yeah, you You make me want to prove it So over here, like obviously these stands are not what we're going to keep as our stands, <laughs> but when we moved here, our actual nightstands fell apart. So these are what we're using for now and they do, they get the job done, you guys. So we're not freaking perfect here, but we are innovative. <laughs> but um, so this is just obviously Dominic's side. He's got socks over there, his hat. A little book um this I put up it's for fall obviously but I just recently bought it so I just put it right out and then he's got his books down below his switch and his computer with his um PlayStation controller so I just wiped those down obviously you guys saw that and now we're gonna move on to my side <laughs> my side is a little bit messier than him you guys but that is just because I literally when I don't know where to put something I just put it on my side of the bed which is not that great Trying to spend the rest of my life with the same one, same one. Ain't no I and T. I'ma bring you good love, just come with me. Baby, you're all the company I need. Trying to spend the rest of my life with the day one, day one. Company I need Company 
a ten with the one for me You get up at six, you should come vibe Play your favorite song, singing all of me I'm just trying to build forever Ain't no storm we can't weather When the sun goes down I'll still be around for ya Here for all of that, yeah, yeah Know I got you, babe, yeah, yeah You my right hand, but I ring the match On your left hand, you my better hand Lost in your love and I can't get back now Fight for your heart and I will not back down Baby, won't you come with me? I'm just trying to chill I'm just trying to live with my day Rest of my life with the same one, same one. Ain't no I and T. I'ma bring you good love, just come with me. Maybe you're all the company I need. Okay, so I just finished this room. I'll show you guys. I'll give you a brief overview of what it looks like. I mean, it's pretty plain. I just hung these the other day. You guys will have to tell me what you think of them. A little backstory on this stuff. This over here in this corner uh, is my date, like my shirt that I wore on Dominic in my first date. And in this corner is the shirt Dominic wore on our first date. And in the middle is all of our cards from our relationship. So it's just like a really cutesy little thing. And then over here, Dominic got me this sign when I think for... Like, a week or two after we met, he got me this, and then I got him these for Christmas. And then, over here, we have, this is Dominic's, like, little corner that, like, every time, Hi, baby! Hi, cutie patootie! Do you have to potty? You gotta do the business? I'll bring you on in a second. Um, this is Dominic's corner. When he gets home from work, like, this is where he just throws his crap. So I just leave it there for him because that's just what he likes to do. And then we have our um, fireplace situation that I am definitely going to decorate. Actually, I might decorate that now. I might just put... Eh, we'll see. I think I'm going to take all of the stuff that I have in the um, living room and put it in there and then do like fall decor in the living room. And then here is Dominic's side, which you guys have already seen. So... We're done with the um, bedroom, thank God, because it took me a long time. So, we're done with this, and we are moving on to the dining room and the kitchen after we walk Sunday, who is having a heyday right now. What is the issue? Are you mad because you're on the floor and Mommy's on the bed? So, we're going to walk her, and I will see you guys after. <laughs> okay, you guys, so... I know I might look a mess now, but you know when you start doing something like I was cleaning the house and then I decided I was going to clean my office, I was going to clean out my closet so I could put stuff in there, and then I realized that the stuff from in there I wanted to put out on the porch and then I went to check out on the porch. You know how it is. When you're cleaning, you end up like all over the house. <laughs> so like I'm just like, I don't know what happened. I was really only supposed to be doing my bedroom, my dining room, and my living room and now my patio looks a mess right now because I'm trying to put stuff out there and I didn't realize that the closet was empty. It's like a whole thing and my office space looks a mess. So. I am just going to do, um, unbox my fall decor for you guys so I can get back into that. I'm sorry that I look a mess now because I've been sweating my off because I have just been doing so many things that I did not originally plan to do. And originally I was filming when I was, uh, cleaning and then it just got, you know, it got out of control, you guys. I cannot explain myself. It just got completely out of control where, like, if I was filming, you guys would have, like, I don't know. I would have needed a cameraman to film myself with the way I was, like, moving around. <laughs> so I'm sorry that this ended up, like, being a much shorter cleaning vlog. It's actually just, like, a clean my room kind of situation. But now we're going to go through all of my fall stuff, mostly because I need to empty this tote so that I can put it in my closet outside. So let's get with it, you guys. I'm super excited. When I opened this tote up, I was like, oh my gosh, I have some good stuff, you guys. And then also, this is something that we hung, that Dominic and I hung the other day for fall. And I just think it's, it's so cute. I got it on sale at Hobby Lobby last year. I noticed that Hobby Lobby, I noticed that a lot of places actually, Hobby Lobby at home, um, all these places bring a lot of the stuff back the following year, which I don't really see the logic in that because 
like now I don't have anything to buy because once I bought everything, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm sure they have it at Hobby Lobby, honestly, because I bought it last year and it was on sale for like $10. So I think it was probably like 20, it was probably 50 off or something. But isn't it cute? I love it. So let's hop in to this tote, you guys. And first we have these, we have just like a bunch of fake flowers that I bought a lot of years ago at, let's see, where did I bought these? I believe it was Michael's or Hobby Lobby. It says Ashland. So whatever that brand is, I leave my tags on everything, you guys will notice. But I got some really, like they're really pretty colors. I think it was Michael's actually. Because I don't really usually buy like fake flowers, but I remember Dominic and I decided to buy these, I remember. I'm pretty sure it was Michael's, you guys. And then I have this cute little vase. The vase and the little things that are in it are from Hobby Lobby and then the flowers are from Michael's. So that's super cute. I'm excited to put that up. And this amber, I know this isn't like, it's like a little bit lighter of an amber, but the amber glass is super in right now and it's also really expensive because it's so in. So I'm happy I got a hold of this last year. And then we have these, which I love these. Let's see. Let's check this out. I think. No, I don't have the tag on it. I just have some weird tag that I've decided never to take off. But these are really cute. Actually, I believe I got these at Home Goods. So I don't know if they'll have them, but they will have some version of it. I always get these from Home Goods. I got one for Christmas as well. They're a little like reindeer. They're really cute. So I just like hanging them up like around the bar or something like that. So that's probably what I'll do this year with these. And let's see, I'll hold them a little closer for you guys. Aren't they cute? I just love these. They're so pretty. I hope you guys are ready. I have a lot. There's a lot going on in here. <laughs> let's see, I can show you guys these. I'm not gonna put it on. Originally I was thinking I would put this turkey hat on, but I don't wanna mess my hair up more than it's already messed up. But we have like a bunch of these little cute little turkey hats from Thanksgiving last year. We did Thanksgiving with our friends, Caitlin and Brandon, and this year we're doing it again with them. So I, I wonder if they still have their hats. They probably don't, you guys. Who holds on to these things? <laughs> but we still have ours, so you know your girl's gonna wear it to Thanksgiving. I have these little pumpkins that I always put little treats in. Sometimes I forget and Dominic gets mad because he goes to open them and there's nothing in them. <laughs> he always gets so excited when I put them out and then sometimes I forget to put stuff in them. But they still have the tag on them, so they were $5 each. However, I remember, I have a funny story to tell you guys about these. <laughs> Last year, I believe I got them, maybe I got them two years ago. I got them two years ago, and they were in the sale department, and I think they were supposed to be on sale for, or they were in like the uh, $3 section, and they say $5 on the bottom. So the lady tried to charge us $5 for both, and Dominic kind of went crazy on her you guys another Karen situation I just can't control myself I said to him I don't want them if they're gonna charge me five dollars I didn't pick them out for that but I did really want them so I was really hoping that Dominic would kind of like say well they were in the wrong spot and not only were they in the wrong spot but it was tagged wrong so that doesn't really make any sense but anyway we got them both we ended up getting both of them together for six where we would have spent five on each so I was like I'm not gonna spend double than what it said it was anyway so on to the next, here's another turkey hat. We have these little pine cones, which is what's inside, I put inside of these jars. You guys, I'm so excited. The more I look at this stuff, I can't wait to decorate this house with it. That is the one benefit of moving, is you just get to decorate so many different spaces. You know what, I'm gonna put in, I don't, I don't know, should I put it in this video? I'll put in a couple pictures in this video of what our house looked like last year and the year before, just cause like, how fun is that to look back on? To show you guys like what I've done before with this stuff. We've had different apartments every year for the past three years, <laughs> so it will look different. But anyway, these are really cute, just little pumpkins in there. So these are little jars that say grateful on this one. I don't know if you can read it. And then this one says thankful. I got these last year, really cute. And I just put more of those little pumpkins in there. Then I bought this cute little pumpkin at Hobby Lot, or no, Hobby Lot, at, at home. I bought this last year. I really struggled with the decision to purchase this. Actually, I can't remember if I bought it with my friend Lauren or I went back after I went with Lauren and bought it without her because I just remember seeing it and wanting it so bad, but putting it back because it was $12.99, but it's cute, you guys. I just love it so I am super happy that I got it this is just like a cute little golden pumpkin 
and this is one of my favorite things. I got this from Hobby Lobby and it's just a little plate and it's ceramic, very heavy duty. I, leave, I swear, I leave the tags on everything. It says $9.99. I, I didn't pay $9.99. I'm pretty sure. We all know um, at home does 40% off on their, uh, not, well, I'm getting all these stores screwed up. I'm sorry, you guys. We all know that Hobby Lobby does 40% off their like everything so like they do 40% off of their fall stuff when it's fall which doesn't make any sense to me and then they do 40% off their Christmas stuff at Christmas time which also doesn't make any sense to me but then this one as well this says it's on 99 but again I probably paid 40% um, paid off of that and then this I got from Target I didn't leave the tag on this one but it's just like a little it's not actually like a fabric material it's just like a styrofoam with like this really pretty fabric on it love that one if you can't tell i'm a big pumpkin girl I'm, I'm a big fall girl you guys like i'm so excited to see all this stuff i have so many good things why did i even buy anything else this is just a little mug it's for soup it says hey rice pumpkin and apple cider and i am pretty confident i got this from the dollar spot at target a couple years ago here's my table runner it's just like this little thing. I think I have another table runner this year too. I don't know if I'll end up using this this year, but we shall see you guys. Oh, I do actually. It's right here. Here's my other table runner. So I just bought this table runner last year at, at home. I'm sure it was 60% off when I bought it. <laughs> this is exciting. I didn't think I had this much stuff, you guys. Wow. Oh, here's another, um, one of those things that says blessed down it. it says they're 7 dollars so I probably got them for four for that 40% off. Or close to four, you know what I'm saying. I'm not good with math, we all know this. And then we have this cute little pumpkin plate. Definitely got this from the dollar spot. This I got from Hobby Lobby. Did I get it from Hobby Lobby? I don't know where I got this from. It doesn't say. I'm pretty sure it wasn't Hobby Lobby though. Oh, I know exactly where I got it from. Um, Big Lots. This I got from Big Lots and it was $6.99. Cute though. It does have a chip on it, so that's, that's a bummer. But it's not surprising, because I don't really wrap these things when I put them in the tote. I just throw them in there and hope they last, and then we moved with it, so. This is just another mug. It says, gather here with grateful hearts. This is an, a pumpkin with an and sign on it. I think I made pumpkins one year or something, and I put a J on one and a D on the other. So, I don't really know what to do with this and sign. Pumpkin. I I'm sure this com will come off. Maybe I'll make pumpkins again. Would you guys like that? T drop a comment down below if you'd like for me to do like a little DIY pumpkin situation. I will put a picture right here of what my pumpkin looked like when I made it. I'd probably make it a little different this year because I don't know if I was in love with how mine turned out. But I did follow a YouTube video. I'll see if I can find it and link it below if you guys don't really want me to do it and you just want to check out her video, that's fine too. But if you want me to, I will film a video DIYing pumpkins because I'm really into that. I'm into like painting the pumpkins rather than like actually, you know, gutting the pumpkin, whatever. What is that called? Carving the budding the pumpkin. <laughs> rather than gar rather than carving the pumpkin, because we all know when you go to carve a pumpkin, you're like, in your head, you're like, this is going to be a blast, you guys. Like, this is going to be so much fun. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And then you have guts everywhere and like, it's not fun for anyone. Dominic always ends up finishing it because I can't even hang with the seeds and the gushiness and the nastiness. Can't do it. Much rather paint. So if you guys are wanting a tutorial on like a painting thing or something along those lines, I'm all for it. Definitely not really a fan of carving pumpkins. Who knows? We might get ambitious. I doubt it. <laughs> then I have this. Oh, this is a part of a set. Cute little salt and pepper shakers. So these I found at the Christmas tree shop. <sighs> the struggle of living not near a Christmas tree shop, you guys. I love the Christmas tree shop. We used to live like less than a half an hour from the Christmas tree shop. And growing up, I always lived like an hour from there. Oh, I guess I have salt in this too. Ooh. Yep, I have salt in this still, you guys. I guess I should find somewhere for this salt. So. Sorry about that, guys. But I used to live like less than a half an hour from a Christmas tree shop, and now we don't. These were like super cheap. I think they were like three ninety nine, and they're just so cute. So I'm just bummed because I've been craving some Christmas tree shop in my life, and I don't have any near me. This is a white one of the same um, as that deep purple one that you guys saw, which I used for a tablescape last year. Which I still think I actually think this would look really pretty for the tablescape. I don't know. 
We'll see. Our little fox. Isn't he cute? So we've had this one since like our first year together. And I just love him. He's so stinking cute. <laughs> I think I got him at Target, 10 bucks or something. This I got last year. It does have a little smudge on it, but I wonder if I could, I wonder if I could magic eraser this. I got this at Big Lots, and I believe it was on sale. It was like eight bucks or something like that. And it's just like a cute little stand that is apparently broken. But I mean, that explains why it was so cheap. I can fix that. It's not a big deal. So that is all that I got or that I have from like previous years. I did buy a bunch of stuff this year already <laughs> because I don't think I realized how much I already had. And I also knew that, sorry guys, I'm just like moving stuff around on the table, which I know you can't see at all, which is probably a good thing. Maybe, hopefully you can't see it all because it's kind of a mess. I've just set everything everywhere. <laughs> But um, I did buy a couple of things this year so far. I bought this cute little, so also, can you guys see that hair? I don't know if you can see the hair that floats around our apartment from the cats, but this is just the joys of having the babies. So I bought this cute little like dried flower looking thing. It's obviously not real, but very pretty. And I bought this bowl for a uh, centerpiece this year. So we'll see if I end up using it like that. What else did I get? Ooh, give me a second, I'll show you a couple more things. So I bought some like little cotton and this little guy at at home the other day. And then I got this cute little truck with little pumpkins on him. And then I bought this the other day from Michael and I am super excited to start decorating. I do have, I, feel, I actually have a couple of more things that I'm not showing you guys today because it's just too much. I need to put all this back and actually no i'm not gonna put it in the tote either way it's just too much for me today <laughs> but i did want to come on here and give you guys a little bit of fall content and something to look forward to um in my next video which we are going to be putting this all around the house and figuring out where we want everything so thank you guys so much for watching this i hope it wasn't too all over the place for you guys but if you liked it please remember to hit that red subscribe button and give it a big thumbs up also, turn your post notifications on if you guys want to be notified whenever I post a video. It does not annoy you, I promise, unless, like, you hate me, which, <laughs> if you hate me, then I don't know why you're subscribed, but the post notifications, like, it's not like it notifies you all the time. I don't really post anything other than my videos. A lot of people can, like, chat through um, YouTube as well, but I don't really utilize that. I actually use Instagram for that, so go over and follow my Instagram if you guys want to be in contact through that way but um yeah just turn your post notifications on because you'll get notified whenever i post a video so you know to come here and watch my next video which should be which will be my fall decorate with me video okay you guys i will see you next time